flying is tedious, stuck on a plane for hours upon hours, most likely seated next to someone you don't know, nor care to know. The food is a mixture of highly processed materials that have the consistency of Chinese newspaper. But then, the plane lands, tires briefly screeching outside the vacuum you're contained in. You've traveled the distance that was inconceivable to your ancestors. The airport is a maze, and coming out on the other side, the air of a different continent fills your lungs. You want to see it all. Roam the cobblestone placed aeons ago during a part of history that you will eventually look up on Wikipedia while traversing monument after monument. You compare your experiences with your home country to those of this alien world, and all the grass seems greener on the other side. You wish to live in a place where art, philosophy, and ideas are held above the gossip columns. You wish for the life of a Frenchman. The rustling in your heart consumes your senses, and even with the little to no sleep you are running on, the adrenaline builds. You must witness, explore, assimilate into a culture you never thought you would have the chance to take part in. Your first encounter with a non-English speaker happens in a cafe as you order a chicken and tomato panini. While there is a barrier, simple hand gestures, a smile, and a thumbs up brings the transaction to a close. It is pleasant, and your chest heaves. But there is a small moment of reflection that occurs after the sandwich is done, that this culture is not unlike your own. The differences begin to lose their uncanniness, and a breath leaves your lungs as a sigh. We are all Westerners, but you are still a tourist. What once felt like some quest for an inner awakening has revealed itself as a highly systemized mode of being. Your ancestors traveled out of necessity, but now you do it for leisure, seeking some faux epiphany that doesn't come from a set of regimen explorations. Your acquaintances on this trip greet the days with blooming eyes as they see right before them that their world is not condensed to Midwest America. You long for this reward, this sense of Conti and sublime, that tiny feeling that there's more purpose to us. But while this feeling might have intense consequences, there is a blind spot, that gap that reminds us we are small in the grand scheme of things. Roaming the streets of the city, faces wander past and partial to your existence. All of these souls smiling while grasping the hand of a lover, others face down in their newspapers along the subway. You begin to ponder that how, with more time, you might get to know these souls that wander throughout this land. But that is impossible for the automated tourist. No longer is travel a quest to embed your roots to new soil and reflect on your innermost feelings, but streamlined for efficiency. The capitalist tendencies that many great thinkers have tried to combat is alive and well. Is this new system bad, you wonder? While our means of travel have changed, and quite possibly the feelings conjured in our current world will overshadow the personal growth we long for in these events. The system is not bad. Once on the plane that will lead you home, a great sense of freedom emerges from a pit of feelings you had harbored for the whole experience. A sense of freedom that is unparalleled. Because you now realize that while your ancestors might have traveled out of necessity, you have juxtaposed them by exploring this world for leisure. You actually have the freedom to explore for leisure. The world is now yours, but you will not be crushed by the anxiety of this freedom. You will come to embrace and hopefully dig your roots to witness, explore, and ultimately assimilate.